We're continuing to hold people in power accountable. In the town of West Seneca, a petition drive effectively put the brakes on new spending for the controversial multi-million dollar library project. And some neighbors worry it's turning out to be a huge waste of money. Two on your side, Emily Lampa tried to talk to all of the town's leaders today and didn't have much luck. I spoke to town supervisor Sheila Megan briefly this morning. She turned us down when we asked for an interview. Instead, she deferred to the resolution that she read at the council meeting last night. It said essentially that in response to the petition, there would be no new spending on this project. There would be a two week review of what has been spent so far and what still needs to happen. And taxpayers would get to vote on how to finance the rest of the project. Here's what some residents had to say about this at last night's council meeting. It's good. I like it, but I really wanted that before we spent the money because now a lot of cases we're stuck in those contracts and now we might even have more money to try to get out of it. It's just a bad situation that we should have never ever gotten into. It's more cost to the residents again. They got an outside firm obviously looking at this. Uh, they should have known when they uh, started this project what they were getting into. We're still waiting for a response from town councilman Bill Hanley Jr. And we spoke with Eugene Hart, but he also said that he will not comment until after the review process is complete. We also reached out to the director of the library as well as the president of the Library Board of Trustees. We were told they were both in Albany today and could not be reached for comment. Reporting in West Seneca, Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.